Now we're going to go really quick through the text format. When I click the text format, this is going to give me the character spacing, the spacing between each letter. Okay, so you can set that if you want to. And if you had two lines, I'm going to double click here, hit the return key and say this is line two. All right, let's move this down. And now if you go to text format and you click the line spacing, you can set the line spacing so that it's closer or further away depending on whatever you want. And also in text format, you're gonna left justify it or you can center it or you can right justify it or make the borders of the left and the right equal. And let's look at the text font really quick. Now, if you have the downloadable version, you're gonna be able to pick your system font, which are the fonts that are found on your computer. Clicking here, will call up a window that you can scroll through with all the fonts listed on your computer. Okay, if you click on one, it'll change to that font. Or, if you're a user that doesn't have that many fonts on your computer, you can click on pick a Google font, and Google has over 850 fonts, and it's all built into the software. So you can click on this blue button, pick a Google font, and you can scroll through the fonts this way, okay, which 850 fonts, it's gonna take you a while to, f to find a font you want. Or you can click on this preview Google fonts, and when you click it, it's gonna pop up a little window, and you're gonna see that there's a whole bunch of, of fonts that you can scroll through. If you wanted to see only like handwriting kind of fonts, you're gonna click on this little categories button here and you're gonna uncheck everything except handwriting, okay? Then you're gonna be able to scroll down and see all the uh, handwriting fonts that Google has for you. Once you find a font you like, like let's say I like the font called Satisfy, okay? I'll just have to memorize the word Satisfy, S-A-T-I-S. I'm gonna click the uh, go away box here. <laughs> And I'm going to come over here to pick a Google font, and I'm going to start typing S-A-T, and there's my font, and if I select it, my text changes to that. Okay, how's that? Super easy, right? All right, let me show you one more thing with the text features in the software before you head off to the next video. Okay, there are two types of text elements in the software. For now, I'm going to take this text, I'm going to delete it. And I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna choose new text. And that just places new text on the canvas. And if I take this little middle drag handlebar thing, I can stretch it like I said before, right? And up here now, the second kind of text is called a text box. I'm going to click it. It's gonna say the same thing. You might think it's the same thing. And like before, I can change the color. I can change the outline. Let's make the text closer together. Let's make the line spacing and let's make it a little bit smaller so we can do what I'm going to do here. I'm gonna take Baldy Bob and drag him out of the way. Let's put him, put this text piece up here. Now, I'm gonna make this really small because what I'm going to do is copy some text into this box. Now, let's say I have uh, a document that has some text on it. I can actually take my document and copy it, and I'm, and I'm gonna come over here to the uh, text box, and I'm gonna triple click, and I'm gonna hit paste from my keyboard. Now, instead of stretching the text, a text box allows you to conform the text to the box, okay? So if I take this little grab handle and move it, it actually makes the text move with it. That's the difference. Okay, thanks for watching this part of the video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate the graphics in the software. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.